is G1 from grade 6, and it's asking which is the better coupon. And essentially what's happening is we are going to do some percentages. So as you look through this, make sure you understand your percentages. So first one is $10 off or 50% off. So we have $26 on this video game. So we need to find 50% of 26. So that means we're going to multiply. So we convert 50% into, we can do it as a decimal, or even as a fraction. You'll find sometimes fractions are easier, but let's do this both ways. So we want 26 times 5. Now notice it's actually 0.5, but I ignore all my decimals and put them in afterwards. So 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 2 is 10. And we just add up. 0, 3 plus 0 is 3, and 1. Now I know it can, half Half of 26 can't be 130. And I know it's not going to be $1.30, which means, oh, it's got to be $13. So again, we use estimation to get to find where the decimal goes. Now, using it as a fraction is helpful because then we say 26 times 1 half, and then that's just 26 times 1. We multiply straight across, and 1 times 2 is 2. So this is just 26 divided by 2, which hopefully you also know is 13. So this one is $13 off. Compared to 10, this is our better deal. So again, decimals and percentages and fractions become very helpful. Let's look at this one. So we now have $808 over here, tucked away in the right, and we have either $200 off or 25% off. So 25%, that becomes 0.25. That's a little more awkward to multiply because it's got the two digits. So if we also know that 0.25 is 1 fourth, that becomes much easier. So 808 times 1 fourth. Oops, that'll be 808 over 1. And then we multiply straight across. 808 and 1 times 4 is 4. So now it's a division problem. And some of you might be able to see what this divides into, but if we do it Using short division, 4 goes into 8 2 times with nothing left over. 4 goes into 0 0 times with nothing left over. So 4 goes into 8 2 times. So sure enough, this is going to save us $202 compared with 200 So this is your better purchase. Then, let's look at a couple more examples. So now we have this $95.16, which is pretty close to $100. So let's assume that's $100, and I want to take 75%. 75% of 100 better be $75. So I already know this one is clearly the winner. But let's double check for sure. So here's what we're going to do. It's going to do things a little bit differently. So we're going to take 9, 5, 1, 6. And we're going to multiply by 7. And we're going to take 9, 5, 1, 6 and multiply by 5. Why? Because this 7 isn't really 7. It's actually 7D. But I ignore all my decimals and I put them in later. But I also ignore all my zeros. So this technically has a little invisible zero here that we're going to just throw in at the end. Alright, 7 times 6. 42. 7 times 1 is 0, 7. Remember, this style means you always, style of multiplying, you always have to put in two digits. 7 times 5 is 35, because that keeps things nice and even. 7 times 9 is 63. So 2, 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry the 1. 5 plus 1 is a 6. 3 and 3 is 6. And 6. But remember, not 7, 7D. So we have to throw this 0 on the bottom. We do the same thing across here. 5 times 6, 30. 5 times 1, 0. 5, don't forget that 0. 5 times 5 is 25, because again, we want these to line up, so you have to have always two digits. And 5 times 9 is 45. So we need to add 0. 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. And 4. Now this was just 5, so we don't put a 0 on the end, but we do add these up. 4, 7, 5, 8, 0. 
So I'm getting a little tucked over there, so let's see if we can't move this over here and make it a little more friendly for us. All right, so 0, 8 plus 2 is 10, carry the 1, 5, 6, 7, 6 plus 7, 13, 6 and 4 is 10, plus 1 is 11, carry the 1, 6 and 1 is 7. Now we knew it would be around $75 because 75% of 100 is 75, so I know that my decimals, which I've completely ignored, have to fit in right here. Can't be $7, can't be $700, it's going to be $71.37. So this is a savings of $71.37, way better than $50. But again, we knew that immediately from our estimation. But if you wanted an exact answer, now you know it. All right, so we're going to do the same idea here. We got 70% off, or 550 off of $799.18. We're just going to do the same thing. We're going to round this thing up to Eight. This is so close to 800. So 800. Now 70 percent. 70 percent as a decimal is 0 0.7. So 800 times 7. Well, that's going to be 7 times 0. 7 times 0. 7 times 8 is. This is just 5600. 5600 doesn't make any sense because the thing only cost 800. But remember, we have this decimal here. So we know it's got to be somewhere between half and the, all of it. So somewhere between half of 800, so somewhere between 400 and 800. So sure enough, it's got to be $560. So again, 550 versus 560, it's got to be this percentage. If we wanted the exact amount, then we would take 79918 times 7. And we do each of these individually just like we did it for the previous problem. And I'll do this quickly just so you can see the answer 7 times 8, 56. 0 times 7 is 1, 0, 7. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 9 is still 63. And 7 times 7 is 49. So we have the 6. 7 plus 5 is 12. 3 plus 1 is 4. 9. 15 carry the 1. And 5. So now we know it's going to be 50, uh, around $560. So sure enough, it's going to pop right there. $559. And rounding this up, and you're sent 43 cents. So again, estimation, because this was so close, we knew it wasn't going to throw us off. OK, this is the same idea. Now we've got this weird amount, though. This is so close to 40. So what I would say. Let's make this 40%. So we say 286 times 4. Oh, so again, I'm going to ignore my decimals because this is really 0 0.4. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 8, 32. And then 4 times 2 is 0, 8. Always put two, di two digits, but we won't use that leading 0. 4 2 plus 2 is 4. 8 plus 3 is 11. Now, I can make some assumptions since this is for $100. This is probably around $100 too, but let's see. This is, well, 39% is pretty close to a third, a little more. 40% pretty close to half. Well, half of this would be $143. It's got to be less than that. So this has got to be $114.40. That's 40% off. We actually only get 39% off. So if we have 40%, we actually have to subtract out 1%, and that will give us the true 39% off. So how do you find 1%? Well, remember with decimals, if we start with 286, here's our decimal, here's 10%, and here's 1%. So we just have to take our $114.40, that's our 40%. And we're going to subtract out $2.86. So this is our 40% minus our 1%. So what we get will be 39%. Now, I don't like to carry, so I do reverse addition. So I'm going to add this bottom up to get 114. So I need 110 for sure. Now if I add 2, that gives me 114.86, which is too much. 
So I have to add just one. So it's giving me 113. I know I need another 40. And I just need 14 cents here to get up to the whole dollar. So 14 plus 40 is 54 cents. So that's reverse addition. That's the same thing as subtraction. Um, check out other videos to find reverse addition. So this is the savings. So it's 111.54 versus 100. So sure enough, that 39% off is a way better deal. And we'll do one last example. Okay, so this one we're going to do a little bit differently. So we have something for 31.40. Now, if I save $30, or 85%. $30 brings us down what I will essentially be paying just $1.40 for this thing. So let's find 85%. I can quickly find 10% because I know I can just move this over one here. So 10% of this would be $3.14. Okay. Well, after this coupon, I'm only paying $1.40. Well, if this were a 90% off coupon, I would end up paying $3.14. So already I am I can tell this is my better coupon, but let's find out exactly how much we'd be saving. So here's what we're going to do. Well, if I take another 5%, that would be 15 which is what I'm actually paying for the thing. So we can say, all right, let's take half of our 10%. So 10% half is five. Half of this, well, half of three dollars, the dollar fifty. And half of fourteen is seven, so a dollar fifty-seven. And we're just going to add these guys up. So four and seven is eleven. Five, six, seven, and four. So really, we paid four dollars and seventy-one cents versus. A dollar forty. So clearly, this is the better deal. So this one we worked a little bit backwards. This one we said, because it was so close, we said, how much are we actually paying for this? Not how much are we saving? But we can also figure out how much we're saving, simply subtracting what we would pay, not multiplying. My apologies. So again, let's do some reverse addition. So if I add twenty-seven dollars. That gets me to 3171. That's too much. It's got to be 26. And then I need 39 cents to get to the even dollar. So I'll need 79 cents to get to the 40. So in this case, 85%, I'm only saving 26.79. So clearly $3 is more.